We are on top of developing news tonight in Guilford and Randolph counties. A transmission line snapped and thousands are without power. The Duke Energy calls the line a backbone of the system. WFMY News 2's Tahitia Moyes learned why getting the power back on won't be easy. Right now I'm in Climax on the Guilford Randolph County line on Old Hunting Lodge Road and it is dark out here and hard to see as you can imagine. But right now 15 to 20 Duke Energy crews are working behind me on this massive transmission line. Now the crews are actually hundreds of feet off the road and that's actually what is making it difficult to get things done around here. Crews had to use a bulldozer to get into this area and get their equipment through. Now once the poles get replaced, crews will have to check other parts like the insulators and connectors to make sure there's no other damage before they can re-energize the line. Now driving around the area, as you can imagine, was a little dangerous. Many drivers I saw did not treat intersections like a four-way stop. Instead, they drove through stoplights that didn't have power. Now I saw many folks parked in their cars charging their phones. That's how I met Lisa Dowley. Well, I'd been up 31 hours, so I laid down about 1 o'clock to take a nap. Woke up at 4.30 and there was no power. And my husband called and they said an estimated time would be like 1 a.m. At last check, that still remains the case. The goal is to have the power back on in the next two hours. Now, if things change, it will be posted on Duke Energy's outage map on their website. In Climax, Tahitia Moyes, WFMY News 2.